I love the small city hand-painted murals in the different cities and villages and unincorporated towns I visit. It also amazes me how quickly you can go from the calm of the painting to the chaos of nature. Heading into Oklahoma, I had warnings of troubled skies, and at my friend's house in Norman, we got hit with three miles away a tornado. These skies were right above the house, and it was enough to scare me back inside. My time in Norman, Oklahoma was a bit like a chameleon. From dealership visits to working in the garage, from tornadoes to sunny skies, from friendly dinners to working in a diner, to riding under bridges and getting tire sponsorship. It was definitely an adventure in itself. I went from hanging out with my friends in Norman and meeting the crew of a Food Network show called American Diner Revival. I was able to volunteer and help to rebuild one of the local diners in downtown Norman. It was definitely a fun adventure and experience. We also took the time to go do some practice shooting. Bill, Susan, and I enjoyed the range. I was also a guest speaker at the Oklahoma University, talking to graduating seniors and even had some time to meet up with an old friend in camp before riding out of Oklahoma and on to new skies. I took some time to really experience riding through Kansas. Some of the highlights was the Brown vs. Board of Education, and on one of the original chalkboards I was able to write my name. I enjoyed riding through some of the smaller cities there, like this one for example, but it also broke my heart a little bit. You can see that in these homes, a lot of them should be condemned, but every single one of them housed a family. Boarded up windows, firewood piling the porch, lack of cars, and just small little homes were filled with life inside of this small little town in rural America. The most amazing thing about this trip is how much I'm able to see in such short time. You really can't see the whole U.S. in a year. A cool addition was Branson, Missouri, something that I didn't know would hold a place in my heart. I was able to take in the Dixie Stampede show. I arrived in Branson on a Sunday and decided to stay in town and see a dinner show. I learned that my grandmother Edith used to love Branson, Missouri, and she loved going to the shows. So here I was at my dinner show, all by myself, but I felt Edie there with me. We enjoyed a vegetarian meal while everyone else ate chicken legs. Then I got a little choked up when I saw this at the end of the show. Flags flying, music playing, very much showing what this country has given me as independence and a free journey across the whole U.S. It moved me and stays as a special part in my heart. Well, it's the morning after and time for Amelia and I to get back on the road. But the night before sure was thrilling and filled with a little bit of fear and excitement and joy. I love the rain, but it was a little terrifying sitting in a tent as thunder and lightning surrounded us. It also was very prideful as my tent kept me completely dry inside. I love my Lone Rider tent, and I love what it's been able to give to me on this journey of mine. I didn't have much time to make it into South Carolina, but I was determined, and the first small campsite I went to was completely full, but it was 7 p.m. This lovely couple in the RV let me share their sight. I had an early morning the next morning, a 4 a.m. alarm call, so I had to pack up my tent in the rain with a headlamp and wearing my gear with my rain suit. I was on my way to North Carolina for the Ray Price Triumph dealership visit. I'd had quite a bit of rain during month seven, and it was only fitting that I would wake up for my 4 a.m. wake-up call to rain, because I was definitely tired of being in it. So what's one more pack up in the rain? Danelle is, uh, this is Ray Price, Danelle Lynn, and uh, here, t turn around and face some of the audience. Hi back there, how are you? You can hear me, right? You just can't see me. 
uh, we want to recognize Danelle because we we found her or she, we found her like on on the social media doing a fantastic trip. Danelle is driving uh, riding her Triumph Bonneville across the United States, covering every state. I had a wonderful reception from the Ray Price family. I met new riders and new friends. This is Malcolm. We rode out through Virginia together on the very next day. And soon after, we said our goodbyes and parted ways. So here I am on the side of the road in the rain and uh, maybe got my first taste of bad gas on this trip. It's what it's sounding like anyway. She kind of choked up and stopped working and uh, now I'm a bit stranded with no phone service. Another month has gone by and more journals filled. So until next time, 